So this project um, came out of a process of collaboration um, with other female practitioners across various disciplines. Um, there were 14 of us involved in total in the end um, and each person has brought something different to the project. So some people are collaborators who I've worked with on Zoom, um, using Zoom as a medium to explore ways to create relationships between each other in a sort of creative context. So some of the imagery that you see um, is recorded via Zoom of practitioners and I um, talking about Antonia White, the writer who the project is, is based on, um, and doing actions together. So um, there's some footage of Leonie Hampton and I making ceramics together, for example. So things that we designed to do together um, in the context of Zoom, because the project was conceived during lockdown. Um, and it came from my realisation that lockdown shared a lot of similarities with Antonia White's experience in Bethlehem, where she was held for almost a year between 1922 and 23. Um, and she described that experience as almost prison-like. So she felt that she'd been incarcerated in this um, small room. Um, and one of the things that was really interesting in her writing to me, reading it again during lockdown, was that idea that um, she had these very, these very small and specific viewpoints on the rest of the world. So she could occasionally see out of the door when it was opened. She was sometimes in a room that had a window and sometimes not. But for most of the time, she was by herself in isolation. Um, and isolation is a word that we've all become really familiar with over the last year or so. Um, but now we have these technologies that allow us to still participate in activities and still make connections with each other, even while we're physically isolated. So the project was a way to try and explore both Antonia White's experience based on what she wrote about it, but also the, the similarities between that and the situation that we've all been in recently. Um, and the people that I've collaborated with on the project um, are all female. It was important to me that this project came from a place of women, women with some kind of creative practice, women who were in their creative work looking at the, some of these ideas of isolation or who in their own lives had had some experience of the kind of themes that Antonia White's writing brings up. Um, and it was an opportunity to connect on a different level to, to the way that you would in normal life with each of those people over a, quite a long period. So it's been um, almost a year in the making, this project. When I applied for the funding for this work, I imagined it as an artist's film, which in my mind was a single channel piece of work at that point. And then through my being a studio holder at CAST, um, Studio Kind, which is the venue for this show, um, offered one studio holder at CAST the opportunity to put on a show here. And I applied for that opportunity with this work in mind. The work was still being made at the time. Um, and when Studio Kind said that they'd like to give me that opportunity, I then shaped the way the project was not being made because that has always worked in the way that I intended it to, but the way of then showing the results of that work has been specifically designed with this gallery in mind now. So I've really enjoyed the kind of freedom to make it into a more um, immersive installation type work, uh, which actually I think the results of that are more than I could have hoped for with a single channel piece of work. Um, and the opportunity to give people sound to listen to, which they can separate from the images if they want to, I think has turned out to be a really important piece of the work because the sound is quite intense. 
to listen to. It doesn't directly relate to or run in time with the images. It's, it's turned out to be a standalone piece of work by itself. So it's really lovely to have a kind of gallery environment to show that in so that people can focus on one or the other or enjoy them both together if that's what they prefer to do.